I, I've had people ask about uh, wanting to do something like this, and I honestly tell them, unless you're a little crazy, don't try it. The uh, name of our uh, restaurant is Pembroke Bakery. Uh, started out, we sold uh, bread at farmer's markets around town, and we got to the point where we were selling 250 loaves a week out of an eight foot by eight foot kitchen. So we specialize, we do um, uh, try to do as much local and organic as we can. Uh, we also uh, cater to people with allergies. We do everything we, we make is dairy free, egg free. Uh, we don't do anything with nuts um, and then work with people with other allergies to get them food that they can, uh, can eat. Uh, 54 years old, uh, born and raised in Fort Wayne. Uh, lived in uh, South Bend in Chicago at different times just for like a year each. Um, started the bakery seven years ago. Uh, went to IU for three years, couldn't decide what I wanted to do with myself, so did a uh, couple other jobs since then and uh, ended up doing this the last seven years. My wife Angie Quinn had been at her job for 15 years and was ready to do something different. And same kind of thing with me. I had been in another job for 10 years and we were looking for something different. And as a kid growing up, my parents had a stamp and coin shop in our house. And I started working in there when I was eight years old. So I like do, working with the public like that. I've done it since I was little. One time we sat down and tried to figure out there's probably been a thousand kids that have danced here in the time we've been here. And we, so we get to know them and their families. And, have been here long enough now that one of the families that was a bunch of young kids when we first started there, one son actually works for us now. And yeah, so we've been here long enough that there's some of the kids that it started out as young kids dancing here at college now and come back to visit when they're in town. So the, the people is a big part of it. The, any of the proposals are fun. Like I said, that's happened a couple times. Uh, we have a couple that come back every year on their anniversary that they met online and met here for their first date oh, cool. and then he he actually called like three months later and said i know this sounds kind of weird but could i have a friend drop off a guitar there and i'm like yeah what for and he said well i'm going to sing and propose to my girlfriend and uh, so they did that and they come back every year and then yours was created with the pokeball for the ring that was fun and uh, we had uh, we get a lot of interesting visitors. Uh, ben Folds has been here a couple times, singer, that uh, he does the embassy every couple years, and he's a uh, vegan, so he comes in and eats here. Um, the, we've had guitar player from the band Boston. Um, we had the drummer from the band Sister Hazel. Being lucky uh, it's, uh, is, is a big part of it. The, we, we sat down, we know another young guy uh, who started a business almost the exact same time we did food business here in town and we go to his place some he comes in here some and we were talking one time and we figured out in five six years this was a couple years ago uh, the first five six years we had been open there we could think of 75 places that had opened and closed during the time we had been open we knew when we did it that 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 you you never make a lot of money doing a restaurant. That's just not, not why you do it. You do it because you like doing it.